I love the fall. I thrive in the fall. I should have been a fall baby. <laughs> Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole for those who don't know and over here in this corner of YouTube We talk about everything lifestyle and beauty just living life as a millennial mom And one of the things that is like my passion what started this channel is hair care curly hair natural hair hair care I absolutely love it. It is something I can talk about all the time, but a few years back I started experiencing a lot of shedding and thinning and having to chop my hair a whole lot because of dead ends. And so I've really been babying and bringing my hair back to life, which is why I don't share as much hair content, but it is fall and I love the fall. I thrive in the fall. I should have been a fall baby. I'm like two weeks before fall, but I love the fall season. And I even love it for hair care. In the fall is when I start to transition into more creams, thick leave-ins and creams together, more fluffier wash and goes versus in the summer where I'm doing more gels so that it can hold and not get too frizzy or more custards and more mousses. I was all about the mousse this summer. And so I am switching and transitioning to my fall products and I thought I would share some of those with you today. I have my products here and we're gonna discuss them today. And some of these products are like OG products like I use all the time and I use them throughout the year but I really, really use them during the fall and the winter. And then some of them are new products that I've recently been trying. All right guys, so let's get into the products and I'll let y'all know if it's an old G or a new product. But let's start with leave-in. So my first leave-in is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In. I have been using this leave-in conditioner for years and I don't just use it in the fall because I love pairing this with certain gels. It's actually like out. I need some more but when I tell y'all I love this stuff I use it all the time and it makes my hair feel so moisturized it is like top tier I probably will never stop using it unless they change the formula on me but it is one of those products that just gets your hair right as soon as you put it on the only downside is I say this every time is that it smells like play-doh yeah definitely smells like play-doh but it is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners and just so you know i it did put in an order with ulta to order some new products because i'm going to be doing a product clean out i've already started cleaning out and looking to see what i needed because i like to write the expiration date on my products when i open them up and so a lot of my products have expired um so yeah be looking out for that so moving right along so this video is not too long this one is like a og but a new fave too because i first tried this out last year i have a whole video pairing this with the pattern mousse and when i that was the best fluffiest wash and go of my life and it was moisturized so this right here i want to pair this year like it's almost gonna have like this much left um, but I want to pair it this year with some heavier creams like put this under and put it as a leave-in It is a moisture milk the pattern moisture milk But I want to try this like with some of these heavier creams I have here instead of the mousse just to really like lock in and get all of that lovely Moisture because this when I tell y'all it made my hair feel so good. It made my hair feel so Good, so if you haven't tried this out fall is like the best time to try this one all right, so those are my two favorite leave-ins. Like, I don't stray too far away. One that I don't have that I actually really did like is by Bread, the Bread Beauty Supply. Their leave-in, it's a leave-in cream, top tier, top tier. So if you like a little bit more like high-end, these are like, between pricing, it would go the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, the Pattern Moisture Milk, and then maybe the Bread. They're like neck and neck, the Pattern and the Bread. All right, so now we can hop into the stylers. So starting with OG stylers, one of my faves, one of my faves. Shea Moisture, Shea Moisture takes my money consistently and they have taken my money consistently my entire natural hair journey, but it is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. If you're an OG curly girl, you already know and like I had to get the big jug because I kept getting the smaller ones and I'm like, I'm running out of this stuff too quick. So this right here, top 
cropped here. I love putting this on top of um, different leave-ins. Like it pairs well with a lot of stuff. I even paired this with a gel too. Like it paired so good with it. So this right here, if you don't have this and you really, really want something that is for like thick curly hair and it's really gonna moisturize and penetrate your strands, this, it, this right here is it. This is it. Another fave is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Curling Cream. Y'all, like most of these products you can probably find so many reviews on, so I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of details. These are just the ones that I like, but this right here, I probably did a video on this and like the Design Essential products years and years and years ago, but the one I keep coming back to is the Curling Cream. Like this stuff is so creamy and like it's easy to apply. It's thick, but like it glides through really nicely. And it has a lovely smell like it's just it smells almost to me it smells like what I would smell if I went into a salon not necessarily like a perm smell but it just smells like I'm somewhere getting my hair done like that's what it smells like um, but this one I really love and I used to do a lot of twist outs with this back in the day but I do rock my wash and goes with this that is one thing like it does give me a little bit of hold enough to where I could rock it a couple of days um, so I really like that about this. And then if you are a custard girly, I like to apply this with the custard, um, but not too much. Don't put too much. It's like a top layer of custard. Um, and lock in all that moisture and that and this together. I love it, y'all. This, I just, I buy it every year. Like it never fails that I pick me up a jar of this whenever I see it. And sometimes you can find them at TJ Maxx. Um, and so when I see it there, I grab me a jar. This one is really, really good and it keeps your hair moisturized for like a good few days. Like I can get a lot of moisture out of this compared to some other creams. And there's another one that's like the stretching cream too that's really good. But for some reason, I always come back to this one. So the next OG product that is a styling cream that I absolutely love is the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer. This thing has me in a chokehold. I get me some every chance I get. And when I say she thick, like, look look at this. It is so thick. If you are a twist out or a braid out girly and you like a lot of like moisture in your style like this, this one is what you want because this thing, when I say like butter, butter is in the name butter. Your hair feels so buttery, y'all. This and the um, deep conditioner from this line are products that I will forever purchase until they stop selling it, honestly. Like, I make sure I get it all the time. And they used to be able to find them a lot at TJ Maxx. I don't know now. Like, I haven't gone product shopping in the longest, y'all. Because as you can see, I have enough products. But if you go to Ulta or even TJ Maxx, you could probably find this. And then last but not least, I need to throw this away because it's like a corner. A corner left and I just checked the expiration date and it's past the expiration date. But it is the Mish Bounce Curl Defining Cream. The only downfall is that I have to order this because I can't just run to the store and get it. That is literally the only downfall. But when I tell you this one and done is all you need, like I don't even need a moisturizer like a leave-in with this. I use this. It gives you like a bounce, like it says, like a bouncy like juicy wash and go. Definitely all of these you can use for twist outs, braid outs, but I use them all for wash and goes. And what I tell you, my hair is moisturized and defined and like there's a slight hold to it. Like you don't need anything else when you use this. And like I said, the only downside is that I have to order it. And so I haven't ordered any products in a while either. And so I haven't re-upped on any of my Mish products, but I definitely need to. And the thing about this one is that even though it's a, a curl defining cream, it does say that you can do one and done for wash and goes too. Like most stuff is like twist outs, braid outs when this comes to creams. This list wash and goes on the packaging. So if you like are a simple person, like you don't want to do too many steps in your routine, this curl defining cream is a one and done that'll keep your hair hydrated, but make sure your curls are popping. So let's get into some newer products. So, so the next one is the Texture ID Styling Cream I got last summer and I didn't end up using it and it's because it was so thick and I bought it to pair with a custard and I was like, I just don't think like this is the time for this. And so I used it the other day and y'all, my hair felt so good. I did not pair it with anything and it still came out good, but it was definitely fluffy. Um, so I would have to probably 
um, pair this with maybe, maybe a custard if I want it to last, but it has cocoa butter and shea butter and it says it, it provides medium hold um, while I'm retaining moisture and elasticity. Definitely felt the moisture with this. This one's a newer one. I still wanna play with it this fall and see if I really, really like it. Um, but it's going to expire soon, so I gotta hurry up and use this up. But yeah, this one, it did have a nice little hole, but it, I felt like I needed something on top of this one. So this one, you definitely probably wanna pair with something, but so far, so good. And this is probably the first of two Texture ID products I've ever tried. I've never really tried Texture ID products, so I'm excited to kind of try this one out, especially since like the ones like this and my bounce cream are like completely gone. And last but not least, I got this twist and curl cream from The Do. So I have been trying out so many uh, products by The Do. And this is another one. This one kind of almost smells like, like a mix between a sugar cookie and Play-Doh. <laughs> A sugar cookie and Play-Doh is the only way I can describe this. But it is um, a cream that defines, moisturizes, elongates, twists, braids, and curls while strengthening brittle strands to aid in length retention. It hair dries soft and silky with soft, touchable holds. So I did try this a few times. I paired it, though, with a gel. So I tried it, like, in the summer, this summer, um, because I've had this one for a while, too, and I just never opened it. And so I tried it this summer. It is thick, like... Let me see if I can show you. It is thick. Um, and so it does say twist and curl cream, but I, of course, use it for wash and goes. But it's nice and thick, and it pairs well with their uh, Big Papa gel, if I remember correctly. And I tell y'all, it's thick. Like, it's not going nowhere. Another one that I'm excited to use this fall and winter, mostly because since it's so thick, I feel like it's going to like weigh my hair down and keep a little hold to it while remaining moisturized. I don't really think I'm going to need to like use this and another product like a leave-in because it's really thick and moisturizing. Um, I'm still like dabbing in the dew product. So if you use this one, comment down below and let me know. Let me know how like moisturizing it was because I can only remember using it that one time um, and I paired it with the gel. So guys, that is all of my products. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some ideas of some products that you can try, especially if you're like me and your hair tends to get on the drier side and you need that moisture. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite fall products are. And be sure to check out my vlogs because I do talk about my products that I'm currently using, different things I'm trying, updates on products I've already tried. So yeah, you'll get all the tea there in my weekly vlogs. And then I am doing a product clean out video. I am going to be cleaning out my stash because there's of course things that are expired that I need to clean out. And I'm really trying to build my base stash of my go-to products. And so I've been testing out so many different products, trying to see what really works for my hair, that it's time to clean out and start over again. So yeah, be sure to check that video out and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.